What's up guys, Poppin' and Pixel here to bring you the next episode in a week of Minecraft. So, as you can see, got some lanterns going around here. I actually uh, came up with this idea today, and uh, it's an iron bar, and I thought it'd look good, but it kind of connects, because I was using a chain, which I guess didn't look bad. But if you put it in a corner like this, I think it looks pretty nice. I'm trying to go for a lamp look, because I use slabs, so... Since it's the top half of a slab, I can't actually connect anything to it. So if we rebuild the house, like decide, tear this down, or maybe we find a cool biome and want to just re, re start in a new biome, obviously we'll bring our good stuff over in the villagers. You can probably use another portal transport system, but we'll probably just do a three high one and I'm kind of getting into more maybe L shape or longer, skinnier buildings so I can do cooler roof designs. But let's, uh, I did some upgrade just around the base to make it look nice and keep the uh, monsters away. I put in these fence posts. I use birch because I really can't get birch to match any of my build palettes. I don't know why. It's just such a light color and I just don't really like how it looks when you're building. So what I did was, sorry, my cat jumped on my lap and got in the way. I just put like five fence posts down, one over, and I put a lantern also added this well in and i'm probably going to make it one wider because i like it to be symmetrical and it's not put the bell and a lantern on it for more light so i put one over here and over here i put a double one which where's my shovel at we'll fix this path real quick so it looks nice and the double one you know just more light either way and one in front of our villagers and i ended up breeding some villagers this morning before i went to work and i was playing so we got harold and helga over there still harold has our mending enchant we finally got one pixel apparently likes harold and helga this is the recent breed i don't know how he got in there i guess they can walk in like this but they can't walk out so over here i've got a potato and also has pumpkins which is nice some growing pumpkins and that's how i locked in the my uh not mining, mending enchant on the other guy was I just traded him potatoes. But 26 is pretty steep. So I'll have to make a zombie villager converter thing. And this dude, he just keeps changing every time I sleep or do something because I haven't picked one from him yet. We'll decide whatever we want. Like, I'm going to get mending on all my armor and the pick first. But the pick, I'll probably get, try to get fortune 3. I think is the highest you can get or whatever the highest fortune is and then maybe make another just a diamond pick i might even do netherite when we get there and use it for silk touch because i like fortune better a lot of people use silk touch first and then just come back and only have a pick strictly with fortune i don't really know why but uh i also need like sharpness on my sword i could probably get smite for like fighting the nether on the our axe which i got you know pretty good enchants on them i got pretty lucky off the enchanting table on those so then i added uh there's my cat again i added one in over here and uh, i promise we're gonna finish building this maybe we'll do that tomorrow <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll brainchild something tonight what we want to do I don't want to go too close i'll show you how many stacks we got of this from uh we already got three stacks, and that's you know going into the nether, getting our netherite. I'm pretty sure the zombie spawners at a distance over there, but it might not be. This morning I uh, got some levels up to uh, enchant the netherite axe that I made, and also I mean, look at that chest plate was under half full, already full with mending. Then I uh, I've got our bamboo growing, which is good because I wanted scaffolding. I haven't actually messed with the zombie spawner entrance yet, even though I have the scaffolding now. I'll probably need to make some more, and then I'll go ahead and do that as well. We put lanterns here, and we pretty much just want to light almost the entire outside. Let's take these torches off. Outside of our house up with lanterns, so that way monsters don't spawn. And I just think it looks really nice doing that. I mean, that makes that look really scenic. You know, little pond, little lanterns. I'll probably raise this water level up one to match that other pond. Then I just put one over here. I haven't added one on the sheep and cow pen yet. 
I might, might not. It's not really a big deal, <laughs> at least in my mind. So then I put one, you know, I saw earlier, got it right here. Kind of use that. I think it looks kind of like a nightstand bedside table. Like maybe I could probably remake that with like a fence and like a trap door like this. And it might look a little better, but it doesn't really bother me too much. So, uh, all right, let's, we haven't done anything to the dock, but I want to build one with you guys. So I'm going to come over here and throw one up real quick, except, uh, except we put our lantern somewhere. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to go get a lantern, which we can make when they're pretty easy to make. Apparently I can't climb scaffolding. I, I don't know the problem here. How many is that? Four? Oh, we, had, we actually had six in our inventory, duh. I did grab some seed pickles the other day and put them in here. Just kind of cool aesthetics. I think I got some on the other side, too. Pretty sure they naturally reproduce. So I think that'll, like, grow and make that one grow also. Since you have to have four for them to actually light up. Look really cool underwater, and at night, you know, they light up your dock. Let's go get that lantern with... Oh, I put it on that. Yeah, we'll leave it. We can make another one. Oh, I actually have the stuff in our inventory to make one. Maybe. We did. Dude. I am going to knock all this down, too. <laughs> I know I keep talking about it, but we'll get to doing that. And then on the hill, maybe by our nether portal, we can make a huge sweet berry farm and try to find like a forest or a taiga forest or whatever they're called and get a fox. And there's you can make like auto sweet berry collectors with foxes, I think. So that'd be really cool, especially because we can try to get a farmer that takes sweet berries and we can just take them down to like one or two or whatever sweet berries and just get a ridiculous amount of emeralds so that's pretty much all for the video let me know if you guys liked it oh here let me show you this i added these around here i think they're like really cool really add to like the enchanting room look having the lanterns hang off of it in my opinion just add them pretty simple like that and then i added a let me know back so how'd you get inside there? I added four on the inside in here and then two hanging down. Maybe I'll put two chains down the center of this and then like put chains on the side like this. And then on the other side, maybe on the end and take these down and make it look kind of like a chain lantern chandelier thing. I think that would look really cool. So that is actually all for the video. Just kind of want to show you guys what I added, some stuff I do to make my village little village look nice I wrote so if you like the video and you like pixel like and subscribe and stay tuned and maybe next time we'll get that farmhouse done maybe that's something we can do together thanks for watching peace